Today on Libertas Video, we review this Assassin's Creed inspired hood. Welcome to Libertas Video, the channel dedicated to encouraging, entertaining, and inspiring you through costume and prop builds and reviews. Now this hood that we're going to be discussing today will be linked in the description below. That will be an affiliate link, so if you use it, we will receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. It's been over 10 years since we released our very first Assassin's Creed fan film. In all of those years of buying and making Assassin's Creed costumes, we found that it's really difficult to get that beaked hood just right. So if you're having trouble sewing your own pattern, or if you're just crunched for time, this might be a good solution for you. This is the Rogue Hood. Now it's made by the Cosplay Company, and it comes in a variety of colors. We purchased the gray version, however, it does come in black, red, and navy blue. It's designed to be interchangeable, so when the weather gets cold, you can stick it under your jacket and depending on what you're wearing that day, you could feasibly change it out for any of the other colors to suit your taste. Of course, it does have this nice beak sewn into the pattern, and if it resembles any of the assassins, I would say it most closely resembles Aguilar's hood from the Assassin's Creed movie, especially when you look at this nice sweeping neckline. So what do I like most about this hood? First and foremost, it does a really good job of capturing that assassin silhouette. The beak is subtle yet menacing. The materials are also really good. I'd say it's most reminiscent of a premium hoodie, so it has a very nice stiffness while still being soft and comfortable. It's also lined on the inside, which just adds to that premium quality of this hood. And I really like the stitching. The whole pattern of this hood is really, really nice, and I think it's just really well constructed. Finally, it fits really well. Now, of course, if you have a really big head, this might be somewhat of a tight fit. However, with this hood not being too large, you have a really good field of view. Of course, it's not perfect. There's a few things to consider. One of the things is that when you look at Altair or Aguilar, their hood or cowl extends out to their shoulders. This one being interchangeable, you can see is relatively thin around the neck and doesn't cover that. So what has become part of integrated into iconic assassin costume doesn't really get represented here. Another thing to consider is that if you're not a huge fan of the Aguilar look, well, you're kind of out of luck. And it doesn't come in white or many other colors. So if you're going for that whole old school assassin look, well, you're limited to those four color options. And finally, it is a bit pricey. Although it's really high quality, for the same price you can buy an entire hoodie. But whoever said being an assassin doesn't come with sacrifice. Of course, even with those downsides, I still think this is an excellent option for anybody looking for an Assassin's Creed hood for their costume or cosplay, or even for their daily outerwear. Now, I do have a tip for anybody who is using an Assassin's Creed hood. This is something that I personally do with all my Assassin's Creed hoods when I'm using them functionally, like say, running around or doing stunts or sword fighting and everything like that. At least I did it with my Assassin's Creed fan films and I use a beanie or a baseball cap. You want to go with something that's got a shorter brim for sure, especially with like this hood. You can get away with a baseball cap. I use that with my Altair hood. Um, but anyway, what this allows you to do is really keep that nice iconic beat look, but then your hood moves with you. So you really retain that nice field of vision. It's not going to fall down. So as you're running along, if you say sew it down, to the beanie, run, jump, flip, roll, anything. This thing is gonna stay on your head. It's just a really cool tip if you wanna keep your hood on your head or if you just wanna make sure that you can see what's going on around you. Overall, I would highly recommend this hood. You're not gonna find something this high quality short of making it yourself or having someone else make it for you. So if you want to pick up one yourself, there are links in the description below. Once again, there are four color options, so you don't have to go with this gray one if you don't want to. Of course, if this is not the style that you're looking for, we have also reviewed the Spirit Halloween Altair hood, which I will link up here and in the description below as well. 
so you can go check that out and make good purchasing decisions. Before we go, I wanna hear from you. Do you have any tips or techniques that you've had with your Assassin's Creed costumes, particularly with the hood, of how you've made them look a little bit more menacing or cool? And if so, put them in the comment section below. Definitely would love to hear those. That's gonna do it for this review. As always, you can connect with us on Instagram and Facebook at Libertas Video. And if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up so other people can find it as well. And if you're a fan of what we're doing here on this channel, we release videos every Thursday. So hit that subscribe button to stay tuned with everything that we are building and reviewing. We'll see you on the next Libertas video.